Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of equations. Specifically, what does this equal sign mean? And we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're thinking of an equal sign, what we normally think of is we'll do something on one side. So we might do 4 plus 3. Then we'll have the equal sign and then the answer will go over on the other side. So we would say 4 plus 3 equals 7. But one way to think about this would be if you have a balance. So think about if you've ever used a balance in science. Maybe you've even been on a seesaw in a playground. So typically what you do is you get a balance. And if both sides are the same, then the balance is straight across. It's horizontal. But if one side is heavier than the other, then it starts to tip one way. Well, the equal sign is like a balance, and it needs both sides to be exactly the same. So, of course, one way we could do this would be 4 plus 3 equals 7. But let's think about this 7 for just a moment. There are some other things that equal 7. You could say 5 plus 2 makes 7. You could say 4 plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. That also equals 7. You can even do a subtraction problem. You could do 12, take away 5. That equals 7. And you could replace 7 with any of those expressions. So let's look at some other examples. Let's look at 4 plus 3 equals 5 plus 2. Does this work? Are both sides balanced? Well, in order to figure out, you have to see what can you simplify each side to. So 4 plus 3, that makes 7. 5 plus 2, that makes 7. So you're saying 7 equals 7, and that is correct. Let's try another one. 4 plus 3 equals, let's try this 12 minus 5. That's kind of strange. I don't know if I've ever seen an addition problem on one side and a subtraction problem on the other side. But let's simplify. Let's see if both sides come out to the same thing. So 4 plus 3, well, we know that makes 7. 12 take away 5. Let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to take away 5. So that's going to leave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 7. So 7 equals 7. Let's look at a few more examples. Sometimes you might see something like this. You might see an unknown, but it's at the beginning of a number sentence. So you might see something like box or unknown equals 5 plus 4. And that's a little bit strange because typically we would see it flipped around. We would see that 5 plus 4 equals whatever the unknown is. But if we think about it as a balance, then it's going to be okay, because all we need to do is we need to make both sides equal. We need to make both sides balance out to the same thing. So we need to think about, well, what does 5 plus 4 make? Well, 5 plus 4 makes 9. So one way to do this is we could say 9 equals 5 plus 4, and that would balance out because 5 plus 4 makes 9. So we're really looking at 9 equals 9. But that's one way to do it. Let's see if we can, instead of putting just one digit like 9 over there on the left side, let's see if we can balance that out with another number sentence. How can we do that? Well, one way to do that would be to, let's take a look at 5 plus 4. Let's see if we can kind of blow this up here. So 5 plus 4. Well, 4 can be 2 plus 2, and 5 could be 4 plus 1. So what if I did this? 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2. Do you think that's going to work? Well, let's see. We know 5 and 4. That's going to make 9. And we know that 4 plus 1, I just said that over here, that's 5. We know that 2 plus 2, just like I said, is 4. So guess what? I'm saying 5 plus 4 equals 9. And we know that 5 plus 4 actually is 9. So yes, 9 equals 9. So think of an equal sign as a balance. Both sides have to be the same.